Hey guys, how are you? This is, I have my fellow brother, your name? Douglas. And? Paula. Amen. And this is one of the most amazing testimonies I've ever heard. It's awesome. Uh, tell us uh, what God did for you. <laughs> well, um, I'll start out by what Satan was doing, because I think that's the best way of going with testimony. Uh, about 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease when I was 45. And um, I just didn't think much about it. And, and about three years ago, the Parkinson's got so bad that I had to come out of work, had to give up motorcycle riding, had to give up a lot. And it just, uh, from then, it just uh, got progressively worse and worse and worse with the dystonia, the, um, the uh, Lua Bada dementia was getting bad where I, I, I had funny smells all the time and uh, I couldn't remember words, couldn't formulate sentences. And uh, in my face, I had no affect whatsoever. I could barely smile, couldn't make a fist, uh, couldn't hold my spoon properly. And uh, the doctor had told my wife something that I, didn't, I wasn't aware of until afterward. But tell me. The doctor had told me as rapidly as he was progressing that I, could, I should be preparing myself for him to not be here much longer. And I didn't tell him. Um, I called my pastor and told my pastor and my pastor said, we're not going to believe that. It's a lie of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And um, we'd been praying and, and just seeking the truth about healing. And uh, for years, I always said, well, God heals whoever, whoever he wants to. But we were challenged by Dan Moeller and Todd White to search the scripture and find where it says, well, I only heal this guy or that guy. And we could not find that in scripture. So. Uh, through the process of elimination, I figured if he healed when he was here on earth and other people got healed, a common cold's no harder for him than cancer or anything else. So I finally went forth to the elders of the church and asked them for prayer. And during that prayer, there was just a breakthrough and the Father healed me completely and absolutely, not only of Parkinson's disease, but uh, about 15 years of type two diabetes, obesity, um, I'm down, just in two months, I'm down four pants sizes, actually about six now because wow. these are getting back on me. But uh, praise God, it's, it's, everything is good. I can make a fist, I can smile, obviously. Um, I can blink my eyes however I want to. I walk, talk, formulate sentences, and we're just absolutely gaga about Yeshua Jesus now. Uh, we were before, obviously, but now we've sold everything, and we're on the road proclaiming the gospel. That's what we do. And the service dog that he used to have to have just to walk without falling, he now runs with. He's the oh, buddy. He's service dog. And he goes with us sometimes um, when we're out. And just as part of our testimony because everybody's drawn to the dog and it gives us an opportunity mm. to say, we used to have to have him just for my husband to walk and now he's part of the testimony. That is awesome. <laughs> I pray that our testimony gives uh, hope to other people who are in the same situation. We've seen healings, uh, we've witnessed healings, and we know that Yeshua is alive and well. Amen. He still heals today. He's the same God yesterday and today, forever. And Amen. he says, these signs shall follow them that believe. They will in him and the they shall repent. Amen. Believe that. We've seen it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And then, so to, to tell me, how did you used to walk when you had Parkinson's? Um, we call it the Parkinson's shuffle, I guess. You're humped over and your hands are drawn up and you just kind of shuffle instead of walking. Um, even my writing um, was affected because I, I love to write letters. I'm old fashioned mm -hmm. and I love to do uh, ink calligraphy. And uh, it had gotten to where I had what they call mycography. You start out big and you end up writing just microscopic little scribble letters, you know, and you, it's just hard to control. Um, the walk was just scooped over and feet down basically is all I can call. And walking on a flat surface sometimes he would just stumble and fall and a year and a half ago he fell um, and tore his rotator cuff at five places and had to have major surgery. You tore your rotator cuff yeah, in it's, five it's all places. Better oh wow. Yeah. Praise God. And this one was damaged too but it's all better too. Oh wow. My entire body is being healed. That's, that's Praise God. Just, my entire body is Oh man. And then, like, uh, so tell us how you encouraged yourself in the scriptures. I, I, I know you said that um, you couldn't find anywhere 
in the Bible where it said that God only heals some people and, and other peoples he doesn't heal. What did you do physically? What did you do to encourage yourself in the scriptures? We just read, the, read those scriptures. I kept reading the same scriptures over and over where it says they brought all manner of sick people to Yeshua. He healed them all. Every one of them. And, and, and Peter and Paul, there was never any time in the Bible that I ever seen where it said, I'd heal you, but mm -hmm. it was just not there. Now people ask for money and they said, I don't have any money, but I'll give you healing. <laughs> what I have, I give you. And that's what we did was uh, I just immersed myself in those and she would encourage me. And, uh, you know, we would just listen to physically every night we would go to bed listening to sermons about the, from people who were positive in the word uh, mm. mostly Todd uh, Todd and White Dan. and Dan and um, just the, the positivity coming from them that God didn't change he hasn't changed he's the same thank you Father thank oh, you Father wow. studied mm. every scripture that has to do with healing and um, the Father just began giving us breakthroughs in our understanding and I um messaged a friend of mine and I said you know what do you think about this and it was some stuff on healing and it, it was after about three days of the father really just drilling into me um, understanding of healing and she said it's amazing because three days ago I woke up and God started showing me all these things about healing and I've been doing an in-depth study and I've come to the same understanding you have so on the exact same day the father was showing she and I both Hmm. Uh, the scriptures of healing and, and giving us both the same understanding, I guess, is confirmation to each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's done mm -hmm. that throughout our entire our, 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 our yeah. entire walk, our relationship together. Is, uh, he'll reveal something to me, and I'll go to her and go, look. And she was like, ah, each to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. He just, he just gives us both the same revelation all the time. Yeah. Very cool. And so God put, a, put it on your hearts. For you to go to the elders of the church and for yes. them to pray. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. She had revealed to me uh, a couple nights before, it seemed like, that the father had given her a revelation about generational curses because I'm the youngest of seven boys. And um, every one of my elder brothers, none of them had made it as far as 60 years, 60 years old. Mm -hmm. And um, the one that's still living, there's only three of us still living, and he's entering into his 60s now. And she said, the father said that you were the seventh son, you were the one to break the generation. Seventh is the number of completion. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I'm the only one who knows you sure. The other ones, uh, they're, they're distant. Hey, Mom. So, but we're working on that. Hey, Mom. We're going to go out and gang save them. <laughs> <laughs> and by Yeshua, they mean Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, there is power in His name. Yes. And He is a healer today. The Word says, by His stripes, we are healed. Yes. He purchased not only forgiveness, but He also redeemed everything, including healing. And so He wants to send forth His Word and heal you. The Bible says that I am the Lord who heals thee, Jehovah Rapha, and He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what He did yesterday, He's going to do today Amen. in your life. In the name of Jesus, after they prayed for you, what happened? Did all of a sudden your bones start cracking or what? It was an immediate. Um, I don't know if, if anybody's ever explained Parkinson's to you, but there's, there's some times where the dystonia takes so much. I mean, you just feel exhausted all the time because you're fighting your body. It's, it's just tension in your body. But immediately as they started praying for me, I just felt this shalom, this peace just flow through my body. And it was almost like somebody took a 100-pound weight off my head. I, I started seeing it up straighter. I felt floaty. I just, I felt marvelous. And when we got home. Well, 15 minutes later at church that night, he was doing Davidic dancing, just praising the Father. I hadn't seen him dance in two and a half years, I at guess. At least, at least. Because hmm. uh, I would have stumbled all over myself <laughs> if I tried it. But um, uh, we got home, and my wife asked me, how do you feel? And I showed her my fist like this, and she said, what, are you ready to fight? fight? And I said, no, it's been two years since I've been able to make a fist, a complete fist. It was always like this, and I can do my fingers, I can even do the chin, <laughs> I Come can on. do whatever I want. I know. Uh, all because of the power of the Father. Amen. Amen, amen. And could you, uh, could you pray? You said, need prayer, just ask. I think there's a lot of people who are believing that 
we all need prayer. Amen. So they're going to pray for us as their <laughs> teachers broadly say, there's power in his name. So expect to receive in Jesus' name. Amen. What do you pray? Father God, we just praise you and we come before you in the name of Yeshua, Jesus. And we just thank you, Father. We just lift your name on high. Yours is the name above all names. Yours is the Creator God's name. And we just thank you, Adonai. We just praise you, Father. And Father, we thank you for the stripes of Jesus. We thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus. We thank you for the gift that he gave us. Not only, as Mike said, not only for our salvation, our deliverance, but that sozo, that, that, that complete and total refuah shlema in the Hebrew, total healing from uh, our sins, healing from what our bodies are doing to us or what we've done to our bodies. Father, we just pray for everybody that hears this video, that you would reach them and touch them yes. in the name of Jesus. Let them be healed. Let them feel the healing. And most of all, let your name be glorified. Yes, Father. Father. Let your yes. name be glorified. And let the yes. healing come to these people so that they know who you are and what you are. And you are a loving and merciful God. Yes. And we thank you for it, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Yeshua, we just praise you, Father. Yeshua, Amen. Jesus, the name above Parkinson's, the name above cancer, the name above diabetes, the name of... Ev the name above everything that yes. Satan tries to use to discourage us and bring us down. Hallelujah. It's in that name we pray. Mm -hmm. And if there's anyone watching who certainly does have Parkinson's, if you could specifically point out that one. In the yes, Father, I pray for the people with Parkinson's. Um, Mike's mother, Bing, and anybody listening to this video, if you've got Parkinson's, Father, I, I just speak to those with, with the Parkinson's, and I thank you in advance for their healing, Father. I thank you because Isaiah 53 already foresaw the healing, that the lamb that was slain from the foundation of the earth was slain for our healing. And I speak to Parkinson's in the name of Yeshua and his go. authority. Go, go from man, these bodies. Jesus, man. Not because Jesus, of what I've done. Man. Or because of what Jesus. Jesus has done, but because of what Jesus has done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. So thank you, Father, for healing all manner of sickness and disease. Yes, in Jesus' name, receive yes. your freedom yes. today. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you Amen. guys. Thank you so much for joining me. God bless you. <laughs> and sharing your testimony. Hallelujah.